Hey everyone, it's great to have you back on SFDC Ninja and today I am here with one more Apex Trigger scenario. So without any delay, let's get started. So just like every video, let's first understand the data model for today's scenario. So the object that we are going to use today is product, which is a custom object. And on this object, we have different fields. First, we have flat discount field, which is of number type. After that, we have offer available field, which is of checkbox type. We have offer price field, which is of currency type. After that, we have offer type field, which is of pick list type and which contains value flat and percentage. And at last, we have original price field, which is of currency type and percentage discount field, which is of percent type. So this is the data model. Now let's understand what we are going to do today. So in today's scenario, we need to ensure that products recording sales force have valid offer prices based on their discount type. Also, we need to ensure that certain conditions must meet while inserting or updating a product. And the conditions are first condition that offer available checkbox should be checked. Second, if the value in offer type picklist field is flat, then the flat discount should not be null. And third, if the offer type value is percentage, then the percentage discount should not be null. So these all are the validations that we need to apply. After all these points, our main task will be to calculate offer price based on the type of discount which is either flat or percentage. Let me explain it again in a simple way. Let's say I am a user and I am inserting a product record. And here in this offer type pick list field, I have selected flat. But I left this flat discount field empty. Now when I will click on the save button, then an error should come stating that flat discount must have a value for flat type. Similarly, if we have selected percentage value, then this percentage discount field must have a value. And before all these things, or you can say validations, this offer available checkbox must be checked. I mean, if user try to save the product record without checking this checkbox, then the user should not be able to save the record. And after all these validations, we need to calculate the offer price based on the value presenting offer type. I mean whether it is flat or percentage. So this is what we are going to do today. I hope the scenario is now clear to you. It's time to code. So let's go to VS code and create a handler class. Let's name it. Product trigger handler. Let's create a method. Now since we need to apply all validations and we need to perform all of our operations on product object. That's why we will pass a parameter of list type in this method. Product And in this parameter, we will pass trigger.new from a trigger. So basically this parameter is equal to trigger.new. Now our first task is to apply all validations. So first thing we need to do is to ensure that offer available checkbox must be checked. So for that, let's iterate over this list. Let's say product list, copy it, paste it here. And now iterate over it. If product dot offer available, you can say true. Then here we will perform all of our operations. But if this checkbox is not checked, then we will show error message. So for that, what we will do, we will use else here. And here we will show error message. Dot add error. For available checkbox must be checked. So this error message will be displayed if the checkbox is unchecked. Till here we have completed the first task. Now let's move to second task, which is to calculate the offer price for flat offer type and to show error message if flat discount field is blank. So let's do it. 
So first we will apply validation for offer type flat like this. If product dot offer type is flat and if flat discount field is empty or you can say null then we will show error dot add error let's provide the error message must be provided when the offer type is flat else we will calculate the offer price guys see in sales discounts can be applied to products in different ways one common way is a flat discount basically in flat discount a fixed amount is subtracted from the original price of the product and in our case the fixed amount is the amount which needs to be subtracted from the original price to get the offer price so let's find the offer price of the product for flat offer type product dot offer price we will simply subtract the flat discount from the original price now this is for flat offer type now we will apply validations and calculate offer price for the percentage offer type so let's apply a check here that if offer type is percentage and here we will apply a similar check that we have applied here percentage discount is null then it should throw an error percentage discount must be provided when the offer type is percentage so this is to show error when the user left the percentage discount field empty for the offer type percentage else if it is not empty then we will simply calculate the offer price so guys percentage discount is also another way to apply a discount basically in this type of discount a certain percentage of the original price is subtracted to determine the final price i mean in our case to find the offer price so let's find the offer price for percentage offer type like this product dot offer price original price and we will subtract a certain percentage original price percentage discount divided by 100 now guys there could be a situation in which a user could enter negative value in percentage discount or flat discount field so for that type of situation we could apply another check like this else if product dot flat discount is less than zero 
and then we will show error let discount cannot be negative we will apply similar check for percentage also save it and deploy it to work it is successfully deployed so we have our handler class ready now let's create a trigger let's say product trj now see we need to apply all validations or we need to perform operations on the same object which will trigger our code so that's why we will use before insert and before update event our trigger will be on product object and here let's use before update apply a check like this Copy our handler class name, paste it here. Dot method name. And we will pass trigger dot new. So this check is to ensure that our handler class method will be called only for before insert or before update operation. Save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. So we have our code ready. It's time to see it in action. So let's go to our org. And here, let's try to insert a product. Let's say test product one. We will select flat in over type and we will keep this checkbox unchecked. And still this flat discount field is empty. Click on save again. And it is stating that flat discount must be provided when the offer type is flat. So let's provide a value in it. And here we also need to provide the original price of the product. So let's provide the value 100. Click on save. So here, as you can see, that we got the offer price after subtracting the flat discount from the original price which means our logic is working correct now let's try to insert another product and here we will select the percentage in over type check this checkbox click on save it is stating that we need to provide a value in percentage discount. So let's provide a value in it. And yes, you can make original price field required. But as of now, let's provide a value in it and click on save. So again, we got the offer price after subtracting the 10% of this original price. So our code is working fine. So guys, in this code, we are basically using a basic approach to apply validations and to calculate the offer price. But we can go with some other approaches as well. Like we can use private method to calculate the offer price for flat and percentage offer type. And there could be many different approaches. So this is kind of a simple approach or you can say basic approach so that you will be able to understand the scenario in a simple way. That's it for today guys and I'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.